I won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Science can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Science can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. Cornflowers, cornflowers, lots of cornflower, good enough to keep and store. My very sluggish friend, aren't you ready yet? We have very little time. What are you talking about, buddy? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Hmm, it, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Did I forget to tell you something? No. -uh. I knew it that I would forget something. Spheroscope! <laughs> In my spare time, I was examining some archives of the future, and I dug up an extraordinary thing. Our ancestors discovered a most curious planet. Its surface was completely burnt up due to increased solar activity. What a shame. Yes, yes, very sad. But the most amazing thing was that amidst all that ash, the explorers found... Spheroscope, if you please. <laughs> These metal constructions. Do you believe it? Scientists of the future debate about their origin, but the majority are convinced that these are the remnants of an intelligent civilization. They call them the Metal City. So what is it really then? An entire intelligent civilization of that? In a hard time, no. But we have a few hours before the big flash on their sun. You and I have the unique chance of saving an entire civilization and solving the puzzle of the burnt out planet. Hmm, that's strange. The air is suitable for breathing. Water and flora exist. There must be intelligent life on this planet. But our scanner is not picking up anything alive. Get all your thingamajigs out of here. Let's make it simple. Hey, fire victims, come over here. Evacuation, evacuation, evacuation. No need to speed things up, my loud-voiced evacuating friend. There aren't any fire victims here yet. There's still... Mm, 15 hours or so. It... what was that? What do you think? Could these plants be... Mm, predatory? <laughs> Not likely. Hmm, but it... It moved. That was just him having something to eat. A normal tree can suck out of the land each year more than 100 cubic meters of water and then evaporate it into the air. The relationship here is that the more leaves a plant has, the more it can evaporate. Together with the water, the plant sucks out various substances that are nutrients for the plant. This mixture moves along water-conducting tissue called xylem. It has tiny little canals named capillaries. The water evaporates through tiny pores on the leaves called stomatos. Through them, the oxygen and water vapor and carbon dioxide is absorbed, from which sugar and starch is then made. In other words, it's through these tomatoes that the plant breathes. At night, or when it's cold, the tomatoes fall asleep and close. But when it's hot, they fully open up. It's this way that the evaporated water leaves and therefore lowers the temperature of the plant. So these are just some common plants. Just really big ones. 
a wonderful lecture, but one that took up a lot of time that we don't have. We need to look for our fellow intelligent space brothers in arms. There's neither brothers, nor Iron City. Hear that? Somebody's whispering. It must be the wind. There's no wind. That's the plants breathing. Through the tomatoes. Hey! Is anybody here alive? Speak up! That whispering is driving me crazy. Soon the sun will set, and the tomatoes will close, and it won't be so hot. Not for long. Hey, look. Footprints. Oh, those are our footprints. We're going in circles. And it seems that we are the only intelligent beings on this planet. Maybe those metallic things we will find here are the work of our hands. Now that makes sense. They do look very similar to the remains of Spherejet. What a hoot! <laughs> what if our descendants take the remains of our rescue mission as signs of civilization? <laughs> <laughs> the remains! <laughs> In which direction did we leave the sphere jet, huh? <laughs> which way should we run? I have no idea. <laughs> We chased ourselves into a trap. We are ourselves the mystery of the burnt up planet. We'll see about that. Pardon me, Grassblade. Nothing personal, just a struggle for survival. Uh, what a strong Grassblade. Did you hear that? A whistle of some sort. Eh, it's a seed. What do you need it for? To preserve the species. It would be better if for a start we saved our own kind. Run! That's it. I can't anymore. Oh, my heroic friend, put me down. You'll make it there more quickly alone. Not a problem. We'll get there. I swear. Then at least throw away that silly seed.
Turn on maximum safety shields. Well, tickle me pink. That's just phenomenal. That's the Metal City, or something like that. One in the same. And where did it come from? I think I know from where. If the ground is rich with minerals, plants will drink them up bit by bit along with the water. When the concentration of metal atoms concentration runs high, they stick together and form crystals. Water evaporates through the leaves and the metal stays in the plants. Over many years, these entire metal constructions form that were left behind after the flash. It, it grows like yeast. Look at how nice it is. <laughs> Stop your moping. This is a true gardening revolution. We can use plants to mine for metals or clean the ground from all kinds of nasty stuff. Or maybe we could build houses right out of metal? <laughs> Only that would take a while, of course. I'd hope that the burnt up planet would present us with something interesting, like an intelligent civilization, for example. You know what they say, it is what it is, and a gift's a gift. Oh, now you can maybe go and write some kind of riddle <laughs> for your descendants. <sighs> no, if you only knew how many lovely works will be written about the missing inhabitants of the metal city. Why would I take that away, that source of inspiration from our descendants? Let them stay in their romantic ignorance. And you know what? I envy them so much.